Perfect. Tara Otterbird is carrying on the age-old tradition of Indigenous storytelling. These are the same ways that the stories have been told to me and passed down to me. Only the Indigenous animator is doing so in a much more modern way. I wanted to tell these stories in a way that um, you know, children are going to enjoy them, but also that adults are going to enjoy them. Just the eyes, I, I think. Working with students at this New Brunswick college, along with animators around the globe, this fall, and we're at Audibert will release Canada's first Indigenous animated feature film being voiced in the language of her ancestors. Well, Listigoyan language is a, an endangered language. There's less than 100 fluent speakers. Got you, got you little. Including her aunt, who voices the film, featuring wide-eyed, whimsical characters addressing a very adult topic. It's a story about um, a fox who is uh, kind of suffering from mental illness. Um, you know, she's trying to run away from her problems, and in that she uh, ends up running into the, this dark forest, which for me is a representation of depression. Animation student Dusty Thibodeau is helping to bring those characters to life and can relate to the topic. This film may help some people um, find that they can find someone who they can connect with and go through some tough times in their lives still. Once complete, the film will also be releasing versions subtitled in English and in French, for me, it has a connection with um, the residential schools and looking at residential school survivors from second and third generation and people that have to live with someone else that maybe is a residential school survivor who also has mental illness. Audubert is hoping it will eventually be played in Canadian classrooms. Well, Huntusis is my favorite character <laughs> because he's bad. He's, a little, he's so bad, but he's also so cute addressing a heavy topic, yet using humor in a way that connects the hearts of the characters and the viewers alike. Shelley Steves, Global News, Miramichi, New Brunswick.